What is going on everybody? Broken Mike here and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some more WWE 2K20 and of course welcome back to BW episode 31 and this is part 3 of the show so if you've missed uh, the previous two parts please do make sure to go and check them out so as you can see we're going to be kicking off part 3 with some tag team action uh, Brad and Albert, the dream team, will be taking on a makeshift duo of Dio Patterson and Hunter so let's dive into it so of course if you do enjoy this video then make sure to hit the like for Mike smash some comments down below and do make sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so and tap that little notification bell that way you'll never miss a video Brad and Albert, the dream team, have said since the first day they became a team here in BUW that their main aim is to capture the BUW Tag Team Championships. And they've had some ups and downs, but a win here could boost them up that tag team ladder. And their opponents first from Charleston, South Carolina, weighing in at 205 pounds, D. O. Patterson. Here we go. This is the match. A lot of these. So here comes a former world champion, ladies and gentlemen, Dio Patterson, making his way to the ring, teaming with Hunter for the very first time here in BW. Dio's had uh, tremendous success. As we mentioned, he's a former world champion, also a former two-time hardcore champion. I'm looking forward to seeing how Dio and Hunter get along in this one. So Hunter Wrestling, of course, he was the first ever BUW United States Champion. Very talented young individual. Some might say he's the future of the company. So like I said, how will Dio and Hunter get on in this match against a uh, formidable tag team in the Dream Team, who are a natural team. And Dio and Hunter are individual superstars. So Brad and Dio will be uh, starting off. 
and we have a lock up to get things started. Get a clean break there. Dio with the waist lock takedown. Throwing Brad across the ring. Get another lock up. Brad with the waist lock. Takedown. Has a headlock in. Dio switching the headlock attempt around in his favour. And seeing some very good wrestling in the uh, opening seconds. Brad kick kick uh, to the uh, stomach of Dio and hits a Meteora. He's fading, guys. That corner is the only thing keeping him upright. Dio in the wrong part of town, but manages to uh, switch things round. Oh, Hunter with a blind tag comes in. The Texas Outlaws, the Briscoes, the Blackjacks, the Andersons, and the list goes Kick to the spine. You're part of a tag team. The two partners have to travel together. In comes out for the first time. Together and be completely in sync with one another. We're at a crossroads. Got to lock up and Albert has the advantage. Wrist lock. Tag team competition digs back all the way to the... And gets the better of that exchange. Oh, right hand from Hunter. The tag team scene has never been more competitive. I don't know who has the edge when it comes to talent. How about a clothesline? Tags Brad back in. Brad, of course, has had individual success in BUW. Former hardcore champion. The longest at that. His reign lasted 98 days. Side effect from Brad to uh, Dio. Dio hits a clothesline. Now quick tags between Hunter and Dio now. And there's a boot. But Brad gets right back up. And Hunter hits another hurricane runner. And there's another tag. And that is what you call smart tag team wrestling. Dio and Hunter, even though they're not a natural tag team here in BW, it looks like they've been teaming together for years. And Brad back on the offense, Dio catches Brad with the elbow, and there's an Enziguri. Irish whip. Oh, down goes the official. Brad in the wrong part of town. Tag made to Hunter. Double backstabber. Goes into the cover. And a two count only. Irish whip. Hits a spine buster. Tag in. Brad tagging in uh, Albert. Look out. And a T bone suplex. And Albert choking out Hunter. Hunter is, sorry, Albert is quite a vicious superstar. From what we've seen so far, look at this. Uh, electric chair and Hunter turns it into a German suplex. Dio now tagged in and Albert meets Dio. And there's a tag to Brad. And Brad with those left hands. And there's a ten punches of doom. 
Albert tag back in. The dream team in control at the moment. This could be huge. And there's a release suplex from Albert. Shot to the knee. And what's he got in mind here? Last shot. He's absorbing some tough hits now. Will this be enough for the Dream Team to get the victory? Into the cover. And a near fall. Two count only. Albert staying on Dio and tags in Brad. Oh, wait a second. I think they're looking to finish off Dio here. Oh, spike in Tombstone. It's got to be game over. Oh, Hunter makes the save at the last moment. If Hunter didn't make that save, I'm pretty sure the match would be over. Brad now driving Hunter face first into the canvas. This is why Brad and Albert are such a great team. The frequent tags, the double team. That's why I feel they are future tag team champions. Albert taking it to the former world champion. Never thought I'd say that. The Dio turns things round. Now we're in the wrong, wrong part of the of the ring. And I'm going to see another double team between Hunter and Dio. Look at this. Spike in DDT and a German suplex. Lovely stuff here from Dio and Hunter. If things go Hunter and Dio's way, could th could this be a uh, full-time thing? Snake eyes to uh, Hunter. Brad now back in the match. And Brad's going for the finish. King's throne. Brad's not covering though. Unless he has something else in mind. Oh, and that, yes, I think they're gonna, yeah, they're gonna look for the spike in Tombstone pile driver again. And this time Hunter feels it. Albert doesn't go for the cover. Big mistake. Hunter uh, a shot to the back of Albert. Trying to fight back. A scoop slam. Elbow to the back of the head. Gut wrench suplex. And check that. Oh my word. What a DDT from Albert. He just turned out Hunter's lights, and that is a smart move. But he's wasting valuable time here. He's going for the cover. the dream team pick up the win what a win for Albert and Brad back to winning ways but I like what I saw from Hunter and Dio I wouldn't want seeing these two become a full time team but will they though and that's the question they both had individual success. Can they make it work as a tag team? From what we've seen, they could. So the Dream Team have a huge victory here tonight, folks. And their quest goes on and get another win in the BW Tag Team Ladder.
So next up we've got our second of three championship matches coming up your way now. Because we have got the BW Hardcore Championship on the line here tonight. As the current champion, Lucas Hackett, will be defending his championship against R.C. So we saw there earlier on in the evening, Alan Everett successfully retained his United Kingdom Championship over Papa V. Can Lucas do the same? Or will we crown a new Hardcore Champion tonight? Here comes the challenger, ladies and gentlemen, RC. Looking for his first hardcore championship here in BUW. He is, in fact, a former WWA champion here. So he's looking for only his second championship. But he's got a stiff test ahead of him, facing uh, one of the broken psychos. Of course, Jesse and Wesley were victorious earlier on against the Aussie Outbackers in our opening match. Of course, uh, Wes currently holds the WWA title, and Jesse is still the W, uh, sorry, the United States champion. Of course, Lucas looking to fend off RC and retain his hardcore title. Here's the champ. And introducing the champion from Little Rock, Arkansas, weighing in at 231 pounds. He is the WCW Hardcore Champion, Luke S. Hagen. Lucas, who won that Hardcore Championship at WrestleVerse, has turned back every challenge put in front of him. So he's close, looking to close in on uh, Brad's record as longest reigning Hardcore Champion. And uh, we've seen some great Hardcore Champions. We've seen some great Hardcore Champions here in BUW in our over a year of this company's uh, since since this company's birth, and Lucas is his latest uh, champion. And he's taken it to uh, RC in the very early going. So of course, uh, an Extreme Rules match, anything goes. 
pinfalls or submissions will have to take place in the ring. And RC coming back into this match. Showing some weakness, and this match can change that fast. Snap suplex from Lucas. Irish whip. Overhead belly to belly suplex. And there's a clothesline taking down RC. Drops the leg. And looking for it a second time. There it is. So Lucas has finally found his feet here in BW after a bit of a slow start to his career. Obviously captured his first championship at Wrestleverse. Joined the Broken Psychos earlier this year as well. See, and it seemed to be the right career move for, for the young man. And right now, RC is taking it to the current hardcore champion. And RC, what's he looking for under the ring? What was he got? And he's got himself a steel chair, which is perfectly legal. Lucas saw it coming and hits a spinning wheel kick. Drops the elbow. Goes into the cover. Just a one count. Oh, he's been a champion before. It's going to take a lot more to put to put him down. Both men on the outside. And there's a spinning wheel kick. Another one to RC. Lucas sending RC back in the ring. What has Lucas got in mind here? He's wedging the chair in, the, in between the turnbuckles. Oh, and RC goes head first into that chair. Side effect. Is this enough to retain? No, it isn't. Near fall, 2.9. But I think RC could just be delaying the inevitable. No, he counters. Look at that suplex. What can RC do from here? Looking for some more weapons. Well, Lucas is not allowing uh, RC to look for any anything at all. Look at this. DDT. Good night, RC. Spinning wheel kick. Swinging net breaker. Lucas absolutely dominating RC at the moment. And the elbows right to the skull. Taking it to the challenger. I'll see a call to uh, won a triple threat match uh, a couple of weeks back to get this opportunity. Lucas is looking for something. Oh, oh, he's got a sledgehammer. And targets it. I don't know where he's connecting. I think he's caught the back of the leg or the lower back of uh, the challenger. Oh, there's still some fight in RC. He's not going down without a fight. Lucas sending 
I want to see crashing into the stairs. Kick to the midsection. And there's a jaw breaker. RC counters with a fireman's carry. And Lucas just just turning things around again. Exiting the ring. Very interesting game plan here. Lucas with the chair, no one home. Oh, knee to the face. And a chair to the spine and the leg of the champion. But Lucas takes out RC with a clothesline. Lucas right back on the attack. RC counters. Oh, clubbing blow right to the back of RC's skull. There's a right hand. Oh, no one hung from the chair that time. Maluka sending RC back in the ring. Could it be a matter of time for Lucas to successfully again retain his championship? There's a net breaker. Side effect. Cover. And Lucas retains his championship once again. Well, they don't call it extreme rules for nothing, guys. Let's take another look. Narcy come for a fight. And that's exactly what he got here tonight. Championship still in the broken psychos camp. And RC brought his A game, but it just wasn't enough. Lucas Hackett, still your hardcore champion. So we've got time for one more match in part three and it's going to be architect and he's going to be taking on The newcomer who made his debut at Broken Dreams, and that is Max.
following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from El Paso, Texas. Weighing in at 220 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, it's one on one action. Former world champion, former tag champion, former two time WWA champion. Architect, who has done it all here in BW. But he's never faced someone quite like this man coming out right now. And the match that Max had at Broken Dreams taking on Casey Hoyt. Oh man, what an impression he made that on that night. Taking on one of the biggest men in BUW and managed to knock him off in a false count anywhere match. Now he's about to face someone who has won world championships here in BW. How will he cope in that one? Max and only his second match here in BW. So both guys are ready, and here we go. An architect trying to come out the firing gates early with some strikes, but that may not prove to be effective on the uh, newcomer. Look out, and look out below. Super backdrop. Max is making an impression in early on in his BW career. Going for the cover. Just a one count. He's not going to defeat Architect like that. Max going to the top. Going old school. Oh, Architect. Float over DDT. Trying to lift Max. He barely could get him off his feet. A springboard and there's a disaster kick. This time he was able to knock Max down and hit and uh, manages to hit a German suplex. Clubbing blows from Max. Architect trying to use his quickness against the larger uh, against a larger man. Oh, we're going the old score again. Now that got those Goes into the cover. Another, another one count. I guess you never know. There's a suplex. Max looking for the boot, no one home, and there's a chop block from Architect. That was a great move from the former world champion. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. No need to panic. He 
And there's a cross arm breaker. Uh, Max manages to uh, get out. And there's a dragon sleeper, folks. But Architect is still fighting. And down goes Architect. Oh, Architect, though, has Max on his shoulders. Samoan driver. But Max gets right back up. Knee to the face. And there's another Samoan driver. Architect taking it to, to Max, and there's a twist of fate. Goes into the cover. Is this enough to put Max away? No, it isn't. Two count only. Max of the rib breaker. And we're going old school for the third time. Continuing to work on the arm of our, of the uh, former world champion. And I think Architect's going for a ride. Choke slam. Cover. And Architect kicks out. Two count only. But Max is not Max is not yet done. They're looking for the tombstone, but look at this! Architect turns it around. And it's a tombstone of his own. Did not go for the cover, which is probably not... Wasn't a good idea. Architect, twist of fate for the second time in the match. Cover now. And another near fall. Architect so close to putting Max away. Hammerlock DDT cover. And Max kicks out. Unreal. The elbow drop. Down to the top again. And hits it. Max right back up. What a, what a net breaker there from uh, Max in hangman style. DDT. Max is going to the top. And that, look at that leg drop. That could be Architect's not done, folks. Cover. No, it isn't. Two count again. Oh, my goodness. Max of the arm drag counters. There's a dragon sleeper again. Is this it? No. How on earth he was able to do that is beyond me. Hammerlock DDT. But Max was his foot was under under the ropes. What a matchup between these two gladiators. Max back up. Really 
Max has the uh, chin lock. Architects fighting out. There are a couple of shots to the gut. And we're going old school again. How much is left in the tank of these two men? And again, the Dragon Sleeper. Architect gets out. Max gets dumped over the top rope. Twist the fate on the outside. But Architect can't win the match out there. There's a reverse suplex. Max goes crashing into those stairs. And there's a net breaker. Sending Architect back in the ring. Max, look, could be going for the finale here. Tombstone pile driver. And Architect, his foot was under the bottom rope. Oh my god. Another hammerlock DDT. And another rope break. This is unreal, folks. Max counters. And it could be Architect's last ride. Connects cover. No, it isn't over. I do not believe it. But Max isn't waiting around. He's going to try again. Tombstone pile driver again. Good night. Oh my god. Where on earth is Architect finding this energy? Flatliner. Side rushing leg sweep. What else can Max do to put Architect away here? Well, he's just busted him open. DDT. There's a nerve hold. Cover. And another near fall. Max cannot believe his luck. Architect somehow reaching down deep. Trying to find a way to knock off the big man, but... The Dragon Sleeper again locked in. And again, Architects refusing to die. Clothesline, but I don't think Max got too much of it. Clubbing blow to the back. There's another flatliner.
Another sleeper hold. And again. What's he going to take? These men putting it all on the line. Just a step quicker. Going for the cover. Cover. Two count only. Michinoku driver. No one home for the kick. There's a right hand. An architect fights out the choke slam. There's a cross arm breaker. Is Max going to submit here? He isn't. This is unbelievable. Suplex. What a match again. And another dragon sleeper. He breaks I can't believe it. So unbelievable that he broke out of that. Wait, wait a second. Whoa! Oh my god, what the hell happened there? The lights went out, ladies and gentlemen. And there's a choke slam. I do not believe what I've just seen. Into the cover. Oh my god. This is unfreaking believable. The boot to the mush. The third tombstone going to be the charm. There it is. And it's finally over. Max, whose two matches have had five stars written all over him. What a star we could be seeing here. What a match. Quite possibly match of the night. You thought on a couple of occasions, Architect had the match. But I, I do not believe it. Max pulls it. Max pulls it out the hat. But barely. This is one of those wins you don't forget anytime soon. He's defeated Casey Hoyt on his pay-per-view debut. And he's defeated Architect here, former world champion. Here on his uh, main television debut. What's next for this big man? 2-0. I wouldn't want to step in the ring with him, I'll tell you. As he drives off into the sunset. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is all the time I've got for you in part three of BUW. Of course, if you did happen to enjoy it, make sure to hit the like for Mike, smash some comments down below, and do be sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so. But the action is not yet over, folks, because we've still got one more part still to come with our Tag Team Championship main event. So, that will be in the next part. I'm, of course, your host for this one, Broken Mike. Do take care, stay safe, and I'll see you all in the fourth and final part of BUW. I'll see you all there.